uh, usage of the living of the land tools to build the crypto miner. Ganesh, you have an interesting story for us. It has a lot in it. Uh, crypto mining and uh, Mimi Cats, malware, yeah. Eternal yeah. Blue, all kinds of good stuff. Right? Yeah, the research, all the names in it, as you said, it has Eternal Blue, Crypto Miner, and PowerShell uses of the tools. And that's what actually interest, interested me to pick this story. So the first, I think, uh, while reading through, actually, it's, it's been first spotted in January of this year. Uh, by one of the Q researchers as well as the Trend Micro. What they found is, uh, first this, uh, this malware author group, what they're trying is they try, started using the weak passwords. When they found the vulnerable infected missions, they tried to use it, then for the lateral movement, they relayed on the patch the hack. That's where actually they used these different exploits, like power dump tools. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, for example, if the weak passwords are not feasible for them to log into the machine, they're using the password ha password hashes, because in that in that case they can log into any like Active Directory domain controllers, right? Because most of the time um, the hashes will be stored as the, for the logging into those machines. So that that was a little interesting to me, and they used they were successful with that one. While they are doing it, actually, they also leveraged um, Eternal Blue exploit to even further their lateral movement. Okay. And they have a little bit success with that one. Once they got it, uh, at that stage, they have a PowerShell downloader. So this, uh, this PowerShell downloader is uh, actually, this is the one which, uh, which tries to contact with the C2 server. And while it's doing it, tries to give some information about the victim, like um, what's the system name. Right, collects and a lot some, of host some information, information. Very little information. Right. With that information, actually, it drops another Trojan. That Trojan, actually, I think it does most of the collection. It, it is giving them the GP information, I think CPU information, and also various other information, like uh, how many CPUs it have, host name, I, uh, and also I think MAC address. I forgot to mention about the MAC address. And once it has all this information, finally it drops the Monero mining component onto it. The attackers have a lot of tools. They would try one thing. If that didn't work, they'd try something else. If that didn't work, they'd try something else. Persistence. Uh, but w what's their ultimate goal? We don't know, but right now they're concentrated mostly in Asia Pack, And they're typically using for uh, mining operations besides you know, uh, building their army. Right, right. So it sounds like they're looking around inside of that network and they're trying to find systems that do have graphics processors and lots of CPUs, because yep. that's what they'd like to have in their yep. army, um, which is interesting. Servers are going to have CPUs. I don't know about having graphics processors on servers, but maybe there's some special use machines somewhere that have big, good graphics chips in them. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. I, I mean, if it gets nowadays, so our, even our laptops are powerful enough with GPUs, probably if they found them, they can utilize for the mining operations. Right. Uh, but the interesting is, I mean, um, John knows more than about this one. If we look back, the malicious use of the power tools, PowerShell tools, they kind of skyped up for since a year and a half, right? Maybe 100 to 1,000 times, you say. Mm -hmm. We see these uh, PowerShells being used to stay below the radar and to propagation. I think if you look at it, they're kind of utilizing all the tools available. They kind of put it in one place. Right. So they're not writing their own tool sets, but they're using them in very um, strategic ways so that they probably won't get detected because they're using kind of tool sets that are mostly built in to the operating system. Interesting use of tactics, I would say, too, because it's kind of advanced, more advanced tactics that a lot of pen testers might use mm -hmm. and things of that nature, or certainly like PowerShell and and Mimi Cats and a lot of those things. We see that a lot, but I, you know, I notice a lot of the um, financial uh, credit card theft groups, like yeah. the Fin6, Fin7, they like to use a lot of those tactics as well. Um, not to say that there's any relationship here, it's just that people are probably using similar tactics that other yeah. bad guys use. They're learning from each other, so. Yeah, a combination of tools and stuff that, like you said, they didn't have to develop themselves. Develop themselves. Yeah. Right, right, right. Uh, protection in this case, there should be endpoint protections at the endpoints, and also, you know, difference in depth really helps matters to detect these kind of activities.